For fuck's sake, really? Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's RJ and today we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashi Nation's SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Black. Wonder what's over there. Anyway, starting with articulation, it's probably the most impressive aspect of this figure, however the neck and the head are pretty standard fare. You can nod in approval because there's no Golgum here. Shoulder armor has its own independent ball joint, so it's not scuffing up, wow. Not scuffing up against the body. Shoulders themselves can kind of tilt forward, and I'm guessing this is so you can use the battle hopper. I wouldn't know, I'm not spending like twice as much as I spent for this figure on his motorcycle. Double hinged elbows. We got the bicep swivel so you can break his arms, my favorite. Ball hinge for the wrists, mine's pretty tight. Instead of a pull-down system for the chest, it's just a series of ball joints. And you have these fleshy bits to cover up the gap, that's a great image. Pull-down hips, thigh swivel, double hinge knees, hinge for the ankles as usual, and the always useful toe hinge. Moving on to detail, it's absolutely remarkable. We have the compound eyes, they look incredible. Glossy black finish for the head, we have the stripes. We have this one in the middle, I don't see any paint dripping out, which looks nice. Some detailing on the back with these silver bands. We have the symbol on his chest, we have the stripes all throughout. So he's the most bumblebee grasshopper man ever. Kingstone is mostly silver with this red insert in the middle, all the buttons are painted in. The way the flesh is done kinda sucks. The way the paint is applied, it really mutes the detail and it doesn't look that great. Wrinkling on the arms, a lot on the legs and a lot on this section, gives it that suit-like look. Like I said earlier, you have these fleshy bits for when you move the, the body two back forward. Two back forward, that's how English works. More flesh. I don't even know why they bothered painting it here, but okie dokie. We have the boots. Very detailed, as are the gloves. And overall, if you just want something that looks neat, you don't even have to be into the show. He's, he's your guy. Moving on to accessories, we have a pair of flat chopping hands. A pair of more splayed out dynamic hands. A pair of holding hands so he can attach himself to the battle hopper. And finally, two unique hands. The one on the left I know is for his unique signature pose. The one on the right looks like it's supposed to be for holding something, but he doesn't come with anything else, so your guess is as good as mine. For packaging, standard figure arts fair. Picture of the prototype. Common Rider Black. Don't read that top part. Another picture of the prototype. Lots of pictures of the prototype, the battle hopper, some moon, blue fin sticker, rider black. And here's a weird photo negative picture of the prototype. Moving on to scaling, here's black with some of the figure arts Dragon Ball Z releases, namely two of them. Here he is with some monster arts figures. Finally, here he is with some Ultra Act releases. As you can see, he's significantly smaller than both of them, even Mebius, and he's crouching. So overall, this is an absolutely superb release. The detail is pretty good, as is the articulation. You don't even have to necessarily be a fan of the series he's from. You just want something cool to look at, or fiddle around with the articulation. If you want something cool to look at, just get a vinyl figure. Fairly cheap, I think he's still at retail at around $35. The only major problem I have with it is, once again, he doesn't come with a stand, so you can't display him doing the rider kick or anything. But if you just want him for generic action poses, or if you happen to have stands laying around, this should be on the top of your list. Very good figure. You need it. You really need to purchase it with your money.